Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Uh, like I said, we need to get to the surface and get ourselves some food because all we have is this one piece of bread. So I will either go ahead and speed that up depending on if we run into anything, but I'll go ahead and try to get myself back up to the surface real quick. We'll get ourselves some food and we'll make it on right back down. I may end up going back to the house really quick, but um, we'll see as, as we get a little further down the road. That actually turned out to be a lot shorter than I thought we were going to have to go. Wow. Let's go ahead and take a look around and find our home. We could not have gone too far, right? I mean, maybe we did, though. Like I said, I'll cut, uh, when we find it. Okay, and we are back home. Uh, let's go ahead and get inside. Let's get some sleep. And then we'll figure out the food situation. I thought we had more food when we went out originally. It's a good thing I still remember where the mine is, though. So we'll get right back there as soon as we uh, have a little bit of a more clear future as far as being able to eat. Um, it looks like that our first melon has grown, so that's pretty awesome. It's kind of odd that those are both putting towards that, but that's that's okay. So that will be our first melon. Let's go ahead and make more melon seeds, I guess. Probably... Probably shouldn't have used them all, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and put this one here, this one here, here, and here. We'll go ahead and let those pumpkins grow. I mean, uh, melons grow. We haven't found pumpkins yet. My bad. I apologize. Jeez. Okay, so we are running out of room very, very quickly. Yeesh. We have so many things going on. It's like, should should we should we build our, our new house right away? Or should we should we just try to get more resources? I think we have a lot of resources. I don't want to abandon the mine idea because we definitely do need more resources eventually. But um I think we'll be okay for now. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, grab this dirt here. There, no monsters going in, but we still have an area to start. So, what we're going to do instead is we're going to go out and we're going to... Because that is a lot of iron we found. We're going to go out and we're going to go um, build our house. Like I said, it won't be too far away. Um, last episode, I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see. Um, we got a few cool responses. I think we're going to go with a traditional a traditional house. It won't be too large because it's just going to take a lot of time. It's not really going to be worth it. So I'm going to go out. I'm going to collect some wood. I'll uh, I'll probably end up uh, blazing through that as well. And I'll, I'll be right back. Uh, we're going to make it out of... Actually, that's a good idea. What should we make it out of? No. Zombie. You get out of here, zombie. Um, we're going to we're gonna grab oak and we'll grab jungle as well. And uh, I'll be back when I'm uh, finished. Okay, so now that I swam over to the um, to the jungle area, just over from our house back over there, uh, I wanted to show you guys how I cut down jungle trees. A lot of people will climb to the top and then just work their way down. What I like to do is actually make a staircase up. So if you dig three, three, you see how you do that? You do three here, three here, and then you just keep going one up from there like it's a staircase in a spiral uh, that you would do in a mine. And then you just keep going up. Because this way, uh, you can get to the top and work your way up as well as down. Um, as well as you can reach out for the branches once you get to the top a lot easier. Because you can just stop when you see a branch and reach out, mine all that, you know, and then keep going on up. Okay, I'll go right back to working. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I made the mistake of accidentally digging. Uh, I got a little confused, but it's okay because we can work our way with the branches up from now because it's, it's the thicker part of the tree. And there we are. This is the top right here. Awesome. And then all we got to do is on our way back down. Just make sure we land on the correct ones. And then as our, we're on our way back down, we can grab this stuff off the tops of the, uh, the branches that were jetting off. And there we go. There's a whole jungle tree down. We got a ton of wood from that as well. Uh, how many pieces is that? 112 pieces of wood. And then plus we have the oak wood uh, to accent the building. So I think that'll be good. Now we just need to decide where we want it. Um, I kind of have a few ideas. But let me go ahead and take a look around here and make sure that I want to do what uh, this... Because I want to make sure I'm in the right place. So I'm going to turn up my render distance and then I'll stop recording. Um, I can't actually, you know, I'll keep recording, but sometimes it, it causes lag. So I just like to, I'll just turn it up. I'll see uh, the area, make sure that there's no other place that I want to work. And then uh, we'll be right back. I'll probably show that I'm looking around. I don't know how great the frame rate will be. So I'll probably end up speeding it up a little bit. Okay. And we are back. Sorry about that. Um, I f yeah, I know what I'm going to do. Um, it's actually, it's actually right here. We're going to build our house along this canyon here. You see this big U section. I just wanted to see, I wanted to look out and see if there wasn't anything out there that really caught my eye. Uh, and there was just some like really tall stuff, but there wasn't really anything that I was really excited to work with. Um, plus having this right here means we can move all of our supplies a lot easier as well. Uh, it looks like the sun is setting, so let's go ahead and eat some of our melons and head to bed. As well as we'll harvest our melon that just grew over there, and um, and the wheat that is there as well. Oh, oh I, I thought I didn't get the seeds. That was weird. Okay, so now we got this, and let's go ahead and get this. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go over there with our boat. It should be back here somewhere. I had it. I know it was here. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're going to have to build another boat. I, I know I have a ton of crafting tables inside, so I'm not going to make more. Oh, there's one over here. That's right. Put one in front of the house. Okay, so uh, we're not going to use the birch wood. Actually, we might use the birch wood, so I don't want to use all of it, but five will be all right, I guess, for a boat. Let's go ahead and get over there and start building. Um... Because we need somewhere to put everything before we take everything to put over there. Um, my idea is the main part of the house will be on this top left half. And then we can make a bridge across. I thought would be pretty cool. And make another uh, tower over here. With the sand and the way that these caves are working, it looks really cool. Or at least in my mind it did. Oh, we'll see you later, boat. So yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm going to start working up out here. Um, yeah, so my idea behind this is like, I want it, I want it to look like it was built with the land, uh, and I probably should have brought some more tools, like some more resources with us, so we're gonna have to head back eventually here, I know it, and, um, and, and, sorry. So we're going to have to head back soon and go get some more so that we can make shovels and stuff just so we can clear out some of this area that we really we're not big fans of. But I just want to get to the top of this dirt hill here first and make sure that I know where that is because it's important. Okay, so this is like the top. Now we're probably going to want to clear out this area all around here quite a bit. All the way down to probably like this level here. And then this level we will create our bridge which will start over here and like I said go across we're gonna make it look like it's a hanging bridge um, trust me it will make this look a lot more natural I just wanted to make a, a walkway for us right now yeah so I'm, I'm probably gonna fast forward me building and, and working on terraforming uh, I will go back right now and go get iron but I won't waste your time with uh, watching that oh hey wait 
Oh, really? A pumpkin right there? We, we haven't planted pumpkin seeds yet. Let's go get the pumpkin first. That was a good dive, by the way, huh? Okay, let's go get this pumpkin over here. We'll harvest it, we'll get it seeds, and then we'll plant it over in our uh, garden. Just so we have more pumpkins going. Um, a cool trick about pumpkins, if you don't already know, is that you can actually wear them like hats. So watch, we picked up the pumpkin, right? And now, if we put this on our head, boom! Spooky, scary skeletons. You see that? Um, and now the, the only purpose for this is that you can look directly at Enderman while wearing a pumpkin. Um, otherwise, we saw before that they freak out quite a bit. Um, it's fun to play with. It, t custom texture packs can change what this looks like. So mm -hmm. it's, it's actually pretty cool. Like you can look like you have a space helmet on or a lot of other things. But let's go ahead and take it off and make seeds out of it. Let's go ahead and plant these pumpkin seeds. Um, there, 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 and there. There we go. Now we got some pumpkins going. Oh, hey, we got another melon. Very, very cool. There we go. Let's go ahead and eat. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll grab that shovel and I'll start working. And uh, I may show sections of me building, but I'm not for sure yet. Okay, it is becoming nighttime once again, so I think we're going to head on back to the house. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table, just like we did on the other shore. Uh, just for over here, because I know we're going to need to build a boat right now. And we're definitely going to need some more um, boats in the future. We're not going to make this many, I'm just making like one. But, let me see, oh, gotcha. No, no. Okay, it's okay. So, we have some stuff growing out here now, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and get back inside. Grab some bones because I want to. I want to grow that pumpkin a little bit more when I get when we go back out. Let's sleep for now. And there we go. Let's go ahead and hop right on back outside. What are you doing? I'm, get off my farm property, please. Thank you. Anyway, let's go ahead and grow these pumpkins so that we can have some more pumpkins. I mean, who doesn't want them? You can make pies out of them. Uh, alternatively, there are a, there is another use for them that I will be showing hopefully in this episode. We'll see if they grow quick enough. Um, and let's go ahead and harvest this wheat here. I should not be running on this land, by the way, uh, because it does turn the soil back into regular dirt. Okay, and now we have some more pieces of wheat. Um, normally, I would say let's go ahead and make it into bread. But what I would like to do is start ourselves a farm over by the new house. So we're going to take a bunch of this jungle wood that we just we just got from uh, 
cleaning up that area and we're gonna go ahead and make some fence posts here I think it can be done by doing a pattern like this all right my apologies it looks like I'm wrong it turns out that they changed the crafting recipe for fences and it turns out that now in 1.8 which I had not known this before uh, now so I guess we're all learning here um, they made the recipe a little bit different um, you can go ahead and take a bunch of these we're gonna need more than this but it'll be okay for now um, you just do this this and then this and there we go we have uh, quite a bit of wood now let's go ahead and grab all this stuff collect all that together there we go so that's how you make the new fences you got to put two pieces of uh, uh, four planks so two on each side and then the actual sticks in the middle it used to be just six sticks in a two by three pattern but that has obviously oh. changed I'll go make another boat they always break um, I know you can go slower in them, like, to get from shore to shore, but, I mean, even if you do do it, their durability is just absolutely insanely low. Um, but, yeah, let's make ourselves, let's take ourselves over there, and then we'll do our best to lure, hopefully, some cows or something in the area. Um, actually, you know what might be easier is if we make the, the cow pen over here, and then we just have to swim across from our home to the cow pen. We also have a ton of dirt, obviously, because we cleared out that area. See what I mean? See what I, I didn't even hit the wall. Uh, we obviously have a ton of dirt here, so let's go ahead and clear out this area, make it nice and flat for the cows. Um, and then we will have a sustainable food fo food source of a good food source. That like the melons only heal like or, or give you half a heart of hunger or so each time you eat it. So we're definitely going to be a lot happier with the beef. Now, when you create the flatland, it's not super important for cattle, uh, but you, for sheep, you want to make sure, at least in older versions, you wanted to make sure that the grass had gotten into the pen, because you can block off the grass from coming in with fence posts, or at least you used to be able to. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. I don't know if that, that carried on over into this one, but um, yeah, just don't forget that you may need to do that. And then we'll just fill this on in. And uh, we'll probably make, well, we will make some supports underwater here for the cows just so this doesn't look like super awkward. Um, you know, so it's not just like a thing jutting over the land like our, our farm is. Our farm is kind of awkwardly unnatural, but that's okay. We will be moving the farm, I think, closer to home as well as we move down further. As, as we go further into this, uh, this playthrough. Um, let's go ahead and clean this up here. There we go. Oh, got to grab a shovel. Just go ahead and clear out this area. Okay, and then there was one more thing that I had not built uh, when I built the fence, which is the fence gate, which is the exact opposite pattern as the fence. So let's go ahead and build that now. So instead of t two sticks in the middle, it's two sticks on either side and then that in the middle like that. Okay, so now we have a fence gate in order to get into where our cows are. are sorry. <laughs> Tongue twister. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and create a little platform down here so that we can come on boat over. And then be able to get up into our cow pen. Let's go ahead and fence all this off. We won't fence it completely off though, because we do still need to get the cows in here. Yep. And then we will uh, go ahead and lure these cow the cows over here. There was one on this land I think we left, and then I know there are some over there. So now that we have this wheat, let's go ahead and take that out. Come on, Moo Moo. Come on, buddy. You want to see what I got, huh? Let's go ahead and eat first, actually. Don't have to worry about when we're walking. There we go. Okay, now look, ready? <gasps> what do I have? What do I, oh, oh, you're not interested? Okay, fine. I'll walk away. Oh, he was interested at first, and then he, he lost interest. Why did you lose interest? Here, I'll push you. I'll push you until you want to follow me. There you go. Come on. Come on, buddy. 
So you can lead uh, cows, and alternative, you can leave pi lead pigs with carrots, and you can lead sheep with wheat as well. So, so once again, cows and sheep have wheat, and pigs have carrots. Um, yeah, and we'll just have this guy follow us over here. Come on. Come on. They can swim, but not very well. Uh, it's, it's still a little bit of a nuisance to do. To get them through water. I mean, you can't eat like I said. Yes, you can, but it's just a little bit easier. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. Go ahead and fence this off here. Um, and we'll put our gate up so he doesn't go out in the water so he can swim. Uh, okay, and then we'll gate this off now that we have one. And we'll get another one, hopefully, over this right here. So we'll just cross the water here and grab the, the other one we saw when we were walking over to grab the first one. Uh, as you saw, I'm using jungle fences currently. The the fences just recently got the update in 1.8 in order to be able to um, to make them into different woods. So the jungle wood is in, every type of fence is new except for the oak. The oak fences were the originals. This is what they originally looked like. Um, but now they have all the types of wood, I believe, or the majority of them. Uh, oak, spruce, birch, jungle, dark oak, and acacia are the ones that they have. So I believe that's all. Come on. See what I mean by the cows move kind of slow when they're in water? Like it takes them a while to jump out and stuff. Okay. Stupid tree. Come on. You're ruining my style right now. Come on. There you go, bud. Okay, now we got two. Only way out is here. It's okay. Walk along this little edge here. Um... Oh, yeah, and let's go ahead and start breeding, actually, right away. So you see, we right-click the cow, and hearts come up. So that means that one's ready to breed, and we'll do that one. And then they kiss. They kiss, 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 kiss. And, oh, baby cow. Repopulation achievement. Get. Let's go ahead and check that achievement. The achievement is right here. Repopulation. Breed two cows with wheat. So that is our first achievement. Uh, for the repopulation, our first, we, I, I don't know if this works with other ones like pigs or, or chickens. Um, by the way, chickens are led by seeds. I did not explain that. Um, but yeah, so now we have our first baby and the baby will grow up. I'm sure, uh, these cows cannot breed right away. You see that I right click them. Nothing happened. Um, they can't breed right away. They will be able to breed in the future though. Uh, in a little bit. Let's actually go ahead and grab this crafting table again and we will make, ourselves one more fence gate because we keep going out this side as well and then we have two ways to get in oh grab some melon let's hope they don't like melon huh there we go and now we can go in and out on both sides um that will complete it for this episode you guys i'm not sure how really how long it has been because i am going to do a lot of cutting for the uh, beginning of building but what I am going to do is I'm going to work quite a bit on the house. And uh, like I said, I have that before shot. And then I will go ahead and show you the before and after shots next episode of, of what I've done. Just so you guys can keep uh, an idea of, of what we're doing. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to go over there and we're going to go uh, pick a specific spot. So that when we look at it, we know exactly where um, it is. So we'll do it from the shore. Because then we have a great view of it. We'll do it right on top of this block here. So, let me go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And um, let me know what you want to see in the future in these episodes. If there's something specific that you need explained or you want explained, um, I will take the time to look into it. And I will do my best to, uh, to explain it to you. But yeah, you guys have a great day.